Don't take more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever thought about buying your dream car? If so, I'm going to be telling you about three different ways on how to determine if buying a car or leasing a car is right for you. Now, I know we've all seen those commercials. You know, if, even if you go to a dealership, there's a leasing price and then there's also a, a loan price on the car that you want to buy. Let's say brand new car right out the lot 2018 and you don't, you, well, you haven't done any research basically. You're just going in, you know, going in blind. So you go and you look and you, you know, you ask, well, what's the difference between a leasing price and a regular price for, uh, for buying a car, buying to own? Well, today I'm going to be, I'm basically going to be giving you pros and cons to both buying and leasing a car. That way you can determine which one is right for you. So now that I've basically stated what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to get into some of the pros of buying a car. Let's say you want to buy a car and your credit is good. Let's say you have like a 700 or something like that, you know, and you want to buy a car. Well, low interest rates. That's one thing. That's a good, that's a good plus. That's only if you have good credit though. If you have good credit, you can have low, uh, a low APR. You can have, I think the lowest is like a 1.35, somewhere around there. Probably even lower if you have a really good credit score, if you make payments on time um, and so forth. Another good, another good plus or a pro is actually uh, getting the latest technology in a car. When you want to buy a car, you want to have the latest technology. You want to have, you know, that GPS. You want to have that Sirius XM, all that good stuff. You want to have mechanical seats, uh, power locking, stuff like that. So that's something that you really want to look forward in, uh, look for in, in a car when you're buying a brand new car, especially a 2018 or 2017. And lastly, is your your credit. Warranties, actually. Your warranties. When you buy a car brand new, you actually get uh, limited warranties. There's no such thing as an unlimited warranty, unless there is, and I haven't heard about it. Uh, sometimes you get a 100,000 mile, 100, mile 10-year limited warranty on your car. You also get, excuse me, you also get certain types of uh, special packages where you can get oil changes, you can get tires rotated, uh, stuff like that when you buy a brand new car. So now that I've told you about some of the pros of buying a car, I'm going to tell you some of the pros of leasing a car. And just to uh, clarify, some of the, the stuff I'm talking about is actually here. So here's the the leases for this one. So when you lease a car, one of the good things is that there's no down payment. You don't have to make a down payment as to where when you're buying a car, you have to make a down payment for the car. So that way it's easier for you to just buy the car and you lease it straight off the lot. Another positive about leasing a car is uh, you don't have a car to trade in or sell. Let's say you're already done paying your car and you want a new car. Well, you're gonna have to go through the hassle of trading in your car or buying a new car. And mind you, if you know if you're one of those people that really uses their car, you know, you're gonna have to run in with a problem of having to buy your car in the condition it's in, the mileage, and wear and tear of the car and stuff like that, or even getting lesser value for your car when you trade it in for a newer car. So that's that's a really big uh, a pro that you have to look at when you're leasing a car. And lastly, the lease payments are actually lower than a regular payment on the car because you're leasing the car. You're only having the car for an amount of two to three years. Um, excuse me. And you actually, you're not stuck with the car. Let's say, you know, after your lease is up, you don't want the car, you can just basically return it and either buy it, you can return it, either buy it, or just get another car and then either lease it or actually buy another vehicle. So now that I've told you about the, the pros of buying a car and leasing a car, I'm going to tell you some cons of both of them. When you're buying a car, you actually have a higher and lower payment because you're buying the car to own it. You're basically stuck with the car. You know, there's, there's no way around it. I mean, you can try to lower your payments, but that, again, that depends on your credit score and your financing. Another con when you're buying a car is 
that you have to put in down payment, dealer fees, tags, registration fees, and stuff like that. So now when you're leasing a car, you actually have a mile limit on your car. Since you're only leasing the car for a minimum of two to three years, you actually have 12,000 uh, 12, miles to 15,000 miles a year. So that really, it kind of stops you from, you know, actually enjoying the vehicle, getting into driving <coughs> and whatnot. And not being able to use it to the full extent. Another uh, con about leasing a car is that since you're only leasing it for two to three years, you actually do have to pay for like the cosmetic damages and stuff like that and the wear and tear. That's out of pocket. That's not something that um, that buying a car would it would cover. So in conclusion, now that I've listed some pros and cons of actually buying and leasing a car, now you can actually figure out which one is good for you and make the decision that is gonna help you in actually buying or leasing a car. So.